In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely shut down the majority of what people like to do out of the bunch tight end in Madden 22. We're going to show you the best defense for bunch tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And also, today we're talking about the nickel 335 wheel. Now, you can find this defensive formation inside of the Chicago Bears defense playbook as well as some other ones. I actually have a full nickel 335 wheel defensive ebook. So, if you want to get my full nickel, 335 wheel defensive guide i'm gonna put a link to that in the description below you can just click that link and you can go get that ebook uh, for just 15 bucks now what we're talking about in this video is we're gonna be talking about a coverage that i absolutely love um, against the nickel 335 wheel now the most important piece of this is you want to put your best cornerback on this left side uh J jc jackson for the patriots in uh, ultimate team you're going to be able to have really fast secondary really good uh, makeup speed speed in my opinion for this defense uh, speed is one of the more important uh, things to look for uh, in your roster. I love the Patriots right now in regs defensively because they have some really fast corners. Now, that being said, the defense we're going to be taking a look at today is cover four palms. And we're going to give you a couple of adjustments out of this coverage that is going to make it even more effective. So we're going to come out of that cover four palms. And then on offense here, I'm going to come out in the bunch tight end. And we're just going to come out in the PA boot over, which is by far the best play from this formation. Now, the first thing that I want to go over is how we could stop the standard way that most people like to run this formation or this play. What they like to do is they simply like to slide their line to the right, block their tight end, and then they can roll out and make some things happen. Now, the beauty of this is as you're seeing this cover four palms coverage, that is a simple click on interception. What you just saw right there is a simple click on interception. Um, you're gonna be able to pick up that, that deep crosser. Now, who do you wanna use her and why do you want to use her then? Well, whenever you're playing cover four palms, especially against a compressed set, especially against a bunch compressed set, uh, what I like to do is I like to use her the safety that is on the side of the tight end. So as you can see here, we're gonna bring him down into the box and we're just gonna use her him over the middle. The next thing that I like to do with this is I like to crash my defensive line out just like that right there. And then you have some options of things that you can do. If you want to leave your three rec hook defender on the field, you certainly can. One of my favorite things to do though is I will actually take Bentley here and I'll actually man him up onto um, the onto the wide receiver on the left side. Now the reason why I like to do this is because I find that that is gonna help us with some of the different route combinations. But if you are going to do this, my recommendation to you would be to make sure that you are subbing in a safety at the linebacker position so that he can cover uh, in man to man and keep up with the wide receiver. So now you're gonna see here, we just simply pinched my defense and then I'm gonna basically have this guy down in the box. And then what I'm going to do is I'm typically going to crash my D-line out. I like to bluff blitz the defensive tackle on the left side of the screen. So that's going to re replace the three red hook defender. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to man coverage, put square man coverage onto um, the outside slot receiver in the bunch tight end formation. So you see it looks kind of like this. If you want to blitz your user, you certainly can, but you don't have to because you are still technically blitzing uh, three or more people. And what you're going to see now is my primary thing that I'm going to do with my user is I'm going to open up to the bunch side. And then if there's a crosser, I'm just going to kind of run with the crosser. And as you can see right there, everything else is completely bagged in this concept. Let me jump into instant replay and kind of break this down step by step. Obviously, they can roll out of the pocket, but we can obviously send the QB spy. We can put a spy on the field as well. Um, but look at how well this quarter flat is defending this crosser. Um, does a fairly decent job. Then you're also going to notice here that this, you really don't even need to guard the crosser on this play if you don't want to. Um, you could essentially kind of helping this and then help with the scramble and then this main coverage assignment Chris Godwin has a route running ability he's the best route runner on this team that's going to be a hit or miss play and I'm telling you right now an ultimate team if you've got a player out there that can cover in man and has good speed he's going to be able to keep up with that concept Okay, so that is the first kind of way that I like to shut this down. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about in this video is um, this this kind of different situation that you're going to find yourself in uh, if you're running this defense, and that is they're going to try to bomb you over the top. So um, the, the next best concept, in my opinion, from bunch tight end is this little coverage beater right here, little bomb 
play. And remember, we're opening up to this side, right? We're opening up to the side. We have a QB spot on the field. Um, you're going to be able to shoot the run right down the middle. And if, if the tight end, the, the beauty of this is too, we really don't have to worry about the tight end a ton because that outside quarter on the right side. So what you're going to see here is I'm opening up here. I can go get that out route or I can just bail back. And as you can see, that coverage bomb is completely locked up. Now, the next concept that I'm going to talk about is one of the most important pieces of this defense and why I like to choose cover four palms over cover four quarters for this specific uh, formation. And the reason why is because let me say, let's say they go to a setup like this. So if you take a look here, we got the tight end on a post, we got the running back on a little table route. And then we've, it's a simple five out setup. It's a concept that pretty much anyone that runs this offense would use, um, especially if they run it at a very high level. So what we're gonna do is the exact same adjustments that we've been doing. And what you're gonna notice here is you should notice that the tight end is gonna, the tight end in route uh, should get followed in man coverage. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. Whoops, messed up my adjustments here. I wish they would fix the play art because every single, uh, video it causes me challenges because i can't see where everything's going but anyways um i just i'm just going to click off here uh, just for the purpose of this video i'm going to click onto the spy i just want you to watch how this guards specifically the tight end post and what you're going to see is this outside quarter defender see how he gets in front of that post and he's going to carry that all the way across the formation and you're going to be able to stop that that right there is the most important piece of this defense the tight end is basically manned up practically but um it's that outside quarter zone in the palms covered so you don't even have to make him you don't even have to man him up now notice something really really important if i were to run this out of cover four quarters i'm going to show this real quick um because i think it's that important now if you want to learn everything about match defense you can join my patreon membership for just 10 bucks a month there's a link to that in the description below you're not only going to get access to my every ebook that i've released but we have a very exclusive uh piece of uh material in there that literally walks you through exactly how match defense works how every single match coverage works including cover three match and cover three buzz match and all that stuff so if you want to get access to that again join the patreon there's a link in the description so now i want to show you the same exact route combination so you see here nothing really changes um get my play art fixed so as you can see that's the same route combination and now what i want to do is i want to go to cover four quarters now i want you to watch this is cover four quarters and i want you to watch what happens uh on this coverage what you're going to see is that guy starts to go with the tight end and then he releases the tight end to that side and now i could hit that tight end uh on that side especially if i you know maybe did like a little runoff uh route or motion this guy out for example um you know something simple but watch how you see how that guy goes with him and then he leaves him and now this is wide open and this was the problem that i was having with cover six this is the problem that i was having with cover four quarters is they wouldn't hang with that tight end post and if you man that tight end post route up it really doesn't cover it that well to be quite honest even gronkowski will get open against that so that's where i found today this cover four palms is such a good job of that so now all we really have to do on this defense is kind of just watch and see if that crosser happens to get open. I will tell you that most of the time, because of the routes that people are going to be using uh, to get these uh, routes open, this crosser is not really going to be open, um, primarily because you're going to see this outside quarter defender is going to always be able to kind of sit on this. And as you can see, I'm going to throw right into it every single time. So as a user, it gives you a ton, and I mean a ton of freedom. Now the last route combination I wanted to uh, touch on today is this combination that you're gonna see from time to time uh, out of this formation, and that is a simple flood to the left side. So uh, I'm gonna go to the play curl flat corner, and we're just gonna set up kind of a simple flood. I'm gonna put my tight end on a little dig route, and then maybe put my running back a little ghost route or something like that. What you're going to see here is the outside quarter defender is going to absolutely bag this corner route every single time because we're getting a box check on that left side. So they can't flood us on either side. And to me, that is absolutely huge uh, in terms of defending this formation. This formation is one of the glitchiest formations year in and year out. But what you're going to notice here, even inside switch, for example, you see how that just takes that away and we really can bag the majority of what bunch tight end is all about 
with those simple adjustments out of cover four palms. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about match defense, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon because by joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to everything. You're going to get every offensive and defensive ebook that I've released so far this year. We've got exclusive tips, exclusive um, in-depth tutorials on match coverage and more. So guys, be sure to sign up for the Patreon. If you've not signed up yet, it's only $10 a month. You can cancel whenever you would like. And I'm going to put a link in the description below. So if you want to check out that Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link that I put down there for you. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoy that Patreon.